almond harvest technology in farming, almond processing in the factory. Almond harvesting can be a tricky process. There are a lot of things to consider if you want to do it right. In this video, we'll teach you everything you need to know about harvesting almonds. We'll cover the basics of almond farming, as well as tips and tricks for harvesting your almonds correctly and efficiently. By the end of this video, you'll have great knowledge of almond harvest and farming, and you'll be an almond harvester pro. The almond is one of the most popular nuts in the world. It was grown only in the Mediterranean and California. Now it's grown across the globe, with more than half of the world's almonds coming from Australia and China. is not actually a nut, but rather it's a seed that grows inside a hard, fibrous shell. Almonds are grown mainly in California, which supplies 75% of the world's almonds to consumers worldwide. The second leading almond producer is Australia with 10%. An orchardist has to follow all these steps, clear trees, remove any dead or diseased trees, clean up brush, do some form of soil preparation to help retain water and allow for good drainage, then plant as many as 15,000 trees per acre. For every one pound of almonds produced, there are about three pounds of weight and shells that are left over from processing. There are over 1 million acres of almond orchard in California alone. This means that there are a lot of almonds out there, and people might be asking what this has to do with agriculture, and how almonds grow and how they get to our mouths. Almond harvesting. Almond trees are one of the most profitable crops in the nut industry. It takes a lot of machines and people to harvest them evenly and quickly. August through October, mechanical tree shakers harvest the crops by vigorously shaking it. A machine drives over rows while knocking over almonds, shaking them off or pulling them off the tree branches, and then it dumps them into waiting trucks or containers. The Broad 9090X is a fully mechanized almond harvester that optimizes your production process. Built for high performance and reliability, this machine can handle even narrow rows with ease. In a few hours, it can harvest up to 12 acres of almond trees per hour with minimal operator intervention, making harvesting possible as early as August or as late as October. It produces an approximately 50% higher yield than traditional hand-picked harvesting methods, while using significantly less power than alternative solutions on the market today. The almond pre-cleaning is a technique for removing the skin from the almond, which can come off during transportation, processing, or storage. Pre-cleaners are set up to offer a cleaner environment with better air quality and less dirt. They're also equipped with various types of bulldozers, shovels, and other tools. The pre-cleaners lift and turn the almonds over so that they can be cleaned on all sides by brushes or brooms. A 
Another process that's performed at this stage is called dry cleaning, which means removing any remaining sticks or leaves from the almonds. Dry cleaners use a vacuum cleaner to remove any residual soils from the bags and add fresh air into them when necessary. Almond hulling is the process of removing the thin, papery husk from almonds. This process can be done manually or through a machine. It's important to ensure that the nut is clean and ready to be shelled before it can be processed in a machine. The machines don't work well if they're not cleaned periodically. When nuts are spread out evenly among the machines, they're able to crack, hull, and almonds pass through an optical sorting machine that separate kernels and remove foreign material with less manual labor and wasted product. During the processing step, bins of almonds that have already gone through the huller and sheller enter the processor. The processor runs a series of optical sorting and automatic packing steps. The bin dump features are designed to make it easier for machines to dump bins that are full of almonds and sort them into a uniform height. The automatic packing is also done with a similar goal in mind, to ensure that all processed bins have an equal amount of almonds in each one. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe to our channel for more informative stuff. Almond harvesting is a delicate process that can be made much easier with the help of the right tools and techniques. By following these tips, you can ensure a successful harvest and get the most out of your almonds. Almond farming. The process of almond tree farming starts by planting the seedlings around November. It's important that the buds go through winter so they can be negatively impacted by a heavy frost which will help them produce blossom during February to March. The almond bloom pollination is the second phase of almond tree farming. Bees are the ones who come in to pollinate the growing almond trees. They help by coming in and spreading pollen from one flower to another. The weather conditions once again play an important role here. Pollinating the growing almond trees needs sunny, warm and calm conditions with little or no wind. The best time for the pollination to happen is when it reaches the full bloom stage of its life cycle, which usually takes place around February or March. The first sign that an almond tree has reached full bloom is when you'll notice its flowers blooming white quickly, followed by a red center. In about two to three weeks from there on, you can expect almonds that will be ready for harvest between September and November. <music>